Welcome to the 2009 U.S. Chess Championship finale. We actually have a champion, Grandmaster Hikaru Nakamura. Congratulations. Thanks, thanks. It's uh, quite a ride. You won clear first, uh, going, going full steam ahead in the last round. Can you tell, talk just briefly about your final round game? Well, I think in the final round game, uh, I definitely surprised Josh with my opening choice. Um, and after that, I mean, we were still in my preparation uh, for quite some time. And then it was just a very simple, straightforward game for me, really. There was nothing too dramatic considering uh, the stakes. And you, you had said earlier in the tournament that uh, Josh was one opponent that you were a little bit wary of playing, having had some bad results recently. How did that affect your, um, I don't know, preparation going to the last round? Well, that didn't really affect my preparation. I mean, to be fair, Josh has had good results against me, but when you look at the history, I think maybe the last four or five games that I've played, I've gotten black every single game. So I'm not sure that's really a fair um, you know, way of calculating the results because I've never had white, really. I mean, having said that, though, I did get white against him in the U.S. Championship. Um, I believe it was three years ago, and I did lose. So I was a little bit wary, but once again, I mean, if, if you're scared of players then you know you might steer clear of certain positions and considering this the situation where I I felt like I needed to win today I just felt like giving it everything and so I played something which was a little bit double-edged but it worked out were you surprised to see your main competition in, in the last couple rounds in this tournament be uh, Grandmaster elect Robert Hess who was ranked in the second half of the tournament uh, definitely was a surprise I mean basically from the get-go though I more or less had a strategy of just trying to draw the top players and take my cha taking my chances against the players who were just outside of the elite group. So it was a surprise to see him there, but it could have been him, it could have been you, or it could have been pretty much anyone, and it wouldn't have really changed anything for me. After Robert found a way to win yesterday from a position which he shouldn't have, it changed my whole outlook. Because if, if he hadn't won yesterday, I probably would have played something a little bit more solid. But because he won yesterday, I went, went into the game today with a must-win attitude. And because of that, I was just looking for something which was just sharp. Speaking of attitude, it's, it seemed to me that you approached the whole tournament with an extremely confident and aggressive attitude, which I know is sort of one of your hallmarks, but how do you, how do you actually develop that as a, as a player? Because a lot of players say that about you and they wish they had that killer instinct in the same way. Well, I think really what it comes down to is it comes down to the fact that I'm not, I'm not afraid of losing. And I think when, when I was much younger, when I, I lost a lot of games, especially when I first started playing. And so through losing all those games, I just I lost the fear of losing. And once you, once you don't have that fear, it becomes much easier to just simply play certain types of positions, especially. Take us back to uh, the weeks before the tournament. Can you talk just a little bit about your preparation, um, you know, how you get ready? When does that even start for you? Well, I mean, I'm not quite sure what preparation you're referring to, because I certainly wasn't doing any preparation before I came here. Nothing specific for the tournament? No, not at all. I was kicking back and enjoying the hockey playoffs. I certainly was not preparing for this tournament. I knew it was going to be stressful. I mean, every round you're going to be playing a GM, unlike, say, the Swisses, where if you draw against, say, Josh, or if I played God and I drew a game, then I would probably play someone a little bit weaker, whereas here, I, I could I could draw against well I drew God and then I got Alex the following round so it didn't really get easier so I figured just try and relax and then once the tournament began then I then I'd be, be spending all my time studying anyway so I didn't see any point really. How does this uh, victory compare to your victory in the 2005 U.S. Championship? Well, obviously 2005, um, it, it will always be special in a certain way, which this one can't quite measure up to. But in terms of the competition and how I played, I felt that I definitely played better this time around. So if, if I had to compare the two, I would say that this one was definitely uh, better than the last one. But that one was special just because it was your first and you were it so young? It was the first one, yeah, it, definitely. I mean, for instance, I still remember going to the final game against Ildar, and uh, it was a the same situation as here where I was tied with uh, Alex Shapunsky at the time and we, we both had already played so we were playing other players and in that game I mean I found a way to win the game but from the start I was just so nervous that uh, it really affected how I was uh, going about analyzing the position and the moves I was thinking about. It was just a totally different mindset. Whereas here I really was not nervous at all at any point during the last couple of rounds. The only time I think I was was in my game against Alex, perhaps, uh, Onishuk, in the sixth round when I actually was in a little bit of trouble. But other than that, I never got nervous. So it was a lot more relaxing this time. Is it because there didn't feel like there was as much at stake for you? Like, 
I would disagree, actually. I felt like coming to this tournament, there was a lot more at stake for me than last time because lately my results have not been particularly inspiring, to say the least. Uh, I mean, I don't need to get into why that why they haven't been so good, but it's just been a rough, rough couple of months for me. So I really came to this tournament wanting to prove something. Whereas in that that one, there always were expectations that I might win, but I was never, never really considered a favorite, whereas here I definitely was considered a favorite, and so it was, it felt very vindicating to, to win this tournament this year.